All right, you ready for cardio? So you did biceps yesterday, okay? So hopefully those are nice and stretched out. Now, before you go into this move of the day, make sure you did some sort of stretching, okay? You never want to do any type of cardio before you have stretched because A, your body's not warm and your muscles aren't warm. So the minute that your temperature starts to increase, those muscles are going to tense up. So you need to make sure that they're nice and stretched and then go into the cardio move of the day. When you're doing your stretching, focus on large muscle groups. Okay? You want to definitely do your legs because typically any kind of cardio is all leg driven. It's from the floor up. And then of course do some arm stretches across the chest, some triceps, opening up the chest, and then squeezing and pushing away. It's going to open up your back and your chest. Okay. And today, what you're going to be doing, I'm going to show you different levels. We're going to do level one first, level two, and then level three. And of course, level three is going to be more of a plyometric that's got jumping involved. Level one is going to be both feet are going to stay planted and we're only going to move one at a time. You'll see what I'm talking about. We're doing knee strikes and I really want you to focus on getting those arms up. All right. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to put all that weight into one leg. I want you to turn that toe to the corner of the room. Okay. This leg back here is up on the ball of that foot. Okay. Nice and easy on this leg. This one is holding all of your weight. This one is strictly back there for balance. Okay. Your hands are coming straight up. Now you want them higher than the shoulders. So not here. Okay. You're up. And notice how I have my hands crossed. Okay. What that's going to allow you to do is give you a strike so that you actually touch that leg to make sure that you're getting full range of motion. Take your abs and suck them in nice and tight because every time that you pull that knee up, you're contracting that core. So think of a crunch. That's what you're doing, all right? Arms are up, you're level one, you're pulling in, tap that knee, push right back out. Make sure you keep that slight bend in this leg, don't lock it out. So you pull up and back. Tapping that foot down, up and back, up, arms are up, up and back. Good. Okay, so what I want you to do, a minute and a half on this side, immediately switch, and a minute and a half on this side. Okay? Now, level one, there's no bouncing. Okay, you're pulling it up and pushing it down. Okay, minute and a half. My level two people, you're going to speed it up just a bit. And you're going to see that slight bounce. So it's up, up, up. I want you to focus on pulling that knee up to meet the hands, not dropping the hands to meet the knee. So up, up, up. Touching that knee each time. Keeping that bend in that knee. Okay, don't transfer the weight back. Keep that weight over that front leg. Okay. One minute and a half. Right into the other side. Okay. Okay. So find some music with a little bit of a higher pitch to it, okay? So that you can kind of find the beat in the music and follow along. Level three, catch my breath here. All right, this time you're gonna do a hop motion with it. So we had level one, stationary. Level two had a bounce. Level three is gonna have jumping involved, okay? Arms go up, so it's up, 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 okay, see how you got those knees? This foot is up on the ball, heel is lifted. Up, up, up. You keep that heel lifted and you're striking. Keeping those hands together, touching each knee. So you have a minute and a half right here. Immediately switch, keeping that heel lifted. See how that calf is engaged? Up, 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 good. That's your level three, okay? Minute and a half each side, taking that 30 to 45 second break to recover, meaning you should be able to say three to four words without having to take a deep breath in. That's when you're recovered and you go right back into it again. Continue to walk around as you cool down. Don't do this, don't just sit. I didn't do a full set, so I'm good. But once you finish the minute and a half on each side, it's a total of three minutes, you're going to be winded. So I want you to walk around, get a drink of water, and just keep moving. You're just not hopping or running. 
so your heart rate is slowly lowering itself down. Typically about 30 to 45 seconds again is gonna allow you enough time to recover. And then you go into that second set, okay? Same thing, you're gonna do it three times. So three minutes total for one set, okay? Because it's a minute and a half, minute and a half. I know I'm doing math here. Maybe too early on a Monday morning to do that. And then take your break. So the process of the exercise itself should take nine minutes. And depending upon how long you're resting, the whole exercise should not take more than 12, okay? And then you're done. There's your cardio for the day. Get your heart rate going. Get some legs engaged. Make sure you contract that core, pulling, right? Make sure you focus more on pulling that knee up than the hands down. Don't drop the hands to meet the knee. Pull the knee up because that's gonna get that core engaged, okay? If you're dropping the hands down here and barely lifting your knee, that's barely engaging your core whatsoever. It's more upper body that you're working, okay? All right, so that's it. You have your move of the day, and I will see you guys later. Hopefully in a different outfit this time, right? You're probably sick of seeing this. Let me tell you, I wasn't planning on working out today, but I had to record like the last 10 videos in one afternoon, and um, I got a workout, so. Proud of you guys. Keep going, and I'll check in with you next time. Bye.